Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with sausage, zucchini, and potato stew. And let me say it before you do, man, this is one ugly dish. But you know what? Does every recipe have to be beautiful? Does every Food Network star have to be good looking? I don't think so. You know, maybe some could be stocky and balding. I'm just saying. So not everything has to be pretty as long as it's delicious. And this is. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add some spicy and dewy sausage to a dry pan dry soup pot, turn it on medium. And what I like to do is see how much oil is gonna come out of the sausage naturally. And if I need to, which I did, I'll add a little vegetable oil to brown it. But fat content in sausage varies a lot. So I like to start it with no oil, see what happens. And if it's not browning enough or if it's not caramelizing to my liking, like this wasn't, I'll add a little oil. But always see if the sausage is gonna supply the oil first, then add a little bit if you need to. So just a little sausage tip. So once I brown that a little bit, I'm going to add some onion, just a roughly chopped onion, a little pinch of salt. I'm going to sweat that for about five minutes. By the way, I'm not going to add any garlic. The sausage I'm using is very garlicky, but you may have to adjust that. I'm going to dump in my zucchini chunks, my potatoes. I'm using some small Yukon Gold, and then vegetable stock. I'm on this kick lately. I'm using vegetable stock for these kinds of dishes instead of chicken. Why? I'm not sure. Do I have to have a reason for everything? All right, and I'm also going to add a big splash of water because this is going to simmer for about an hour and I don't want it to reduce too far, okay? So you can always adjust with water. I'm going to throw in a bay leaf. I'm going to throw in some thyme. My thyme from the backyard was flowering. So pretty. Tastes the same, but it looks nice. By the way, if you have a backyard or a windowsill and you don't have some herbs planted, what's wrong? Why don't you? Come on. All right, so now this recipe from this point on could not be simpler. Bring it to a boil. Turn it down to simmer. Simmer it slowly for about 45 minutes to an hour until everything is tender, delicious. It's going to reduce. The starch in the potato is going to thicken it, and it's going to look something like that. And that spicy, smoky, delicious, full-flavored sausage is going to flavor the bland ingredients, potatoes, and the world's blandest ingredient, zucchini. And it's really a nice marriage. When I thought I was done, I turned off the heat, I threw in some fresh chive, adjusted with salt and pepper, not shown here, and then I dish it up in a big old bowl, and then the last step, a handful of sweet 100 cherry tomatoes. Those little tiny really sweet ones, so I didn't add them to the stew when it was cooking because I didn't want them to fall apart and burst and pop. So the idea here is every once in a while, when you need a little break in the action, you take one of those cherry tomatoes on a spoon, and you get this burst of this kind of sweet acidic juice that kind of cleanses the palate and you're on to the next bite and that's it sausage zucchini potato stew this thing is so ugly it is like the gene simmons of stews but don't let that deter you tons of zucchini around this time of year your neighbor will be very happy you take a few off their hands so give it a try all the ingredients are on the site and as always enjoy